So I'll be very fast, just wanted to provide a very short reminder of the project objectives. We have some participants today here with us that uh, or did not attend the previous days, so it's worth to remind that uh, the SWOOS GMC uh, project aims at providing a ground motion characterization for reference rock site conditions, we have two sites that are participating to our project, the Diablo Canyon, um, D DC, ah, Diablo Canyon Power Plant and uh, Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station. So by uh, providing uh, a logic framework, so logic trees, we aim at uh, uh, characterizing the median and the standard deviation. So we're following a shock level three approach. This is the framework we are using to make sure to, that we are capturing adequately the center, the body and range. So we are really characterizing all the epistemic uncertainty of the technically defensible interpretations. This is workshop number two, it's called proponent model and alternative interpretations. So uh, our speakers here are mainly uh, proponent experts and research experts which are uh, uh, providing us insights on models that they have particular knowledge of or they developed and we asked them to specify strengths and limitations of their own models but also to specify the technical basis for applicability and viability of their models. Now, Again, I want to remind that uh, these topics are very interesting. Uh, there is a lot of a scientific debate going on on these topics, but we have to be reminded that for the goal of the workshop, we need to focus on those particular aspects of the models that have significant impact on the hazard input and on its results. So again, I wanted to bring uh, um, to your attention that this is a very focused uh, uh, workshop and we ought to maintain uh, adherence uh, to the goals. The speakers have been provided with focus questions to answer. They are broadcast, they are shown on the lateral screen. So that serves for us to follow what we ask them, but also for them to be reminded to address key points for us. We want to make sure that uh, the, all the hazard sensitive issues are properly discussed so we can have a, a wide and comprehensive uncertainty again of the distribution of, uh, of our mean estimates and also on the uncertainty associated to these estimates or to these methods. So this is uh, the um, uh, slides that Norma presented yesterday. I'm just going ahead because that will be part of the documentation. But I wanted to remind again that there are several issues for application of the GMPs that we have to focus on. For Diablo Canyon, what really matters, we saw from the, the um, sensitivity, the hazard sensitivity plots, are the large magnitudes at short distances. So there are uh, faults that are known to link, so this is a topic that needs to be addressed uh, uh, well. And then uh, we have the problem of the dipping fault, in particular the reverse fault and the associated hanging wall uh, effects. And then again linked to the um, fact that the faults can link one to another, we need to address uh, complex ruptures and splay ruptures and today we're going to have uh, uh, focused uh, presentations to address this issue. And we're also going to cover the issue of kappa. Yesterday we ran out of time so we couldn't uh, address the issue but it's going to be brought in today and we are going to um, provide the, the kappa discussions instead of the um, proponent presentation by Jenny watson Lamp, who couldn't join us today. For Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station from the, uh, the tornado plot, it's very uh, evident that what really impacts the hazard are the normal faults in the background zone, but also at longer periods, the large magnitude at, at large distances originated in California, so for the strike slip, large magnitude capable California sources, uh, those are important to capture. So for us it will be important to define proper attenuation rate and evaluate if the attenuation in uh, Arizona is significantly different from the attenuation in California where the majority of the candidate models, at least the ones developed in the US, have been properly calibrated. But also Kappa is important for, the Ablo, for Palo Verde and the near um, the near source scaling is also something important associated to the background uh, uh, seismicity. 
Okay, again, ground rules, uh, uh, this is a very focused uh, workshop. I would like to remind that our discussions are mainly um, designed for the TI team to acquire useful information that will be used towards the evaluation of the methods and then following that, uh, uh, folded up into the integration and so the, the development of the ground motion model. It's important for the TI team to provide questions to the speakers, then everybody that is listed as a proponent and resource expert can participate. The other people will be considered observers. They will have a chance at the end of each day to ask questions. But again, we want to clarify that this workshop is aimed towards the education of the TA team. And then of course we have the PPRP, our continuous review panel, which is also welcome to provide questions or request clarifications. Okay, so uh, that's it. In the essence of time, I would like to move ahead with our next presentation.